Get ready, America, for this is the best of Destination Small Town, a Quack TV production featuring the shows that have taken Sweet Swine County by storm. The reality hit, The Real Housewives of Sweet Swine County, Sweet Swine's favorite music show, Backstage at the Commune, the tastefully done cooking segment, Cooking It Up with Betty, the always zany soap opera, As the Corn Grows, and of course, the wildly popular talk shows that share what's happening inside and outside Sweet Swine County. Which shows will you be seeing today? Stay tuned and find out right after the break. This program has been made possible by The Daily Boar. This sometimes daily newspaper reports the news the residents of Sweet Swine County want to know. Also now featured online at SweetSwineScoop.com. Get ready for a website like no other. A website where you will find stories done by reporters, tourists, and celebrities from Sweet Swine County. Yes, I said Sweet Swine County. With nothing happening in their county, they decided to do some stories about the businesses and points of interest located in their neighboring towns and counties. Take a unique look at life inside the small towns of the Midwest by visiting DestinationSmallTown.com. Get ready, because just when you thought you'd gotten the cockleburs out of your overalls, they're now on TV. That's right, this is one weed you won't want to pull. The Cockleburr Morning Show, with hosts who deliver a mix of news, entertainment, and information about the communities throughout our story country. Now on this station and the web. This program is made possible in part by Swine Tales Publication the proud publisher of Sweet Swine County Maps and Plat Books, now publishing authors from throughout Sweet Swine County. Swine Tail Publications is now making plans for their next book tour, and they may be held in these small towns with the release of It's You, Not Me, A Guide to Breaking Up by Paris Ritchie. Born to wealth, Paris Ritchie is one of the most photographed women in the world, Women want to be her, and men fall at her feet. Although her love life is well documented in the tabloids, don't believe everything you read. Paris has had to kick more than a few lovers to the curb for what she calls shenanigans unbecoming of a Paris man. She's just a woman who knows exactly what she wants in a man, and what she brings to any relationship. So if an affair ends, it's you, not her. Each of these towns are being considered for a book signing because of the information found on the best source about small towns of the Midwest. To learn about these towns, visit DestinationSmallTown.com. Get ready, America, because you're about to see the best of Split Hoof tonight, Sweet Swine County's number one late night show! Live from Sweet Swine County, where every day is sweet, it's Split Hoof Tonight with Billy Gates and the Broken Windows Band. Hi, I'm Earl Silo, and now let's welcome Sweet Swine's one and only, Cousin John. Hey folks, hey, thanks, thanks. Welcome to another great episode of Split Hoof Tonight. Hey, you know Earl, I was just thinking about something the other day. Up until... 1913, the Americans, we got to keep 100% of everything they earned. And despite that, they still had schools, colleges, roads, railroads, subways, even had the Army, Navy, the Marine Corps. And by the way, they won eight wars and fought one, the Battle of 18, or the War of 1812, to a draw. Yeah, tell me again, why do we need to pay taxes? <laughs> anyway, so, Earl, hey, you know, uh, oh, uh, oh, what's their name? It's uh, George and Iona Tell. You know, they live down around the corner there. Well, George and Iona, they, they, uh, they joined a couple's bowling league, and they were really excited. They got their new, their new bowling shirts on, but they didn't have anything on the back. 
it seems that their sponsor wanted to remain anonymous. See, that just goes to show you that no one knows for whom the tells bowl. <laughs> anyway, folks, stick around. We got a great show for you. We got some great guests. And, but before we do that, we're going to show you a little bit about something that's going on outside Sweet Swine County. We'll be right back. Get ready because our culinary expert and, dare we say, wine aficionado beyond belief, Betty Thompson, is preparing some tantalizing dishes for us on her show, Cooking It Up With Betty. In the midst of cooking, our dear old Betty does join her What's Cooking reporters traveling throughout our story country. Now, on this station and the web. Hey, thanks, folks. Welcome back to Split Hoof tonight again. Hey, Earl. Earl, what are you doing? Well, I thought I'd help you out, and, I, and I'd help you clean out your office, Cousin John. Well, you know, that's really nice of you, but uh, why'd you bring all that stuff in here? Well, this is the one thing I didn't get done. I didn't get gone through. I didn't get the chance to go through all these old tapes that you had over there. That's really a good thing, but, you know, this really isn't the place to sort things out. This isn't my true office, so to speak. This is my cabin. This is where we shoot our show. And besides the fact, those aren't old videotapes. Those are new videotapes of all our new segments of when our Sweet Swine citizens go out to do things outside Sweet Swine County. Really? The, these aren't old, old videotapes? No, they're not. So these are new videotapes that, that, that you want to show? Yes, yes. And tell you what, Earl, what I'd like to have you do, pick out a few of those that we're going to show on the show, take them over and give them to Lewis. Lewis? Yeah, you know Lewis, our producer, he's right over there behind camera too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. No, no, Earl, Earl, your mic. Oh, your mic. <laughs> oh, my, my mic. Yeah. yeah. But just, oh, yes. I, just, just take a few, don't take... Anyway, folks, uh, while Earl is getting all that handled, let's take a look at something else that's going on outside Sweet Swine County. We'll be right back. Get ready, because now you can watch a full of fun daytime talk show that shares the latest and greatest news about the people, places, and events found all over our story country. The Women of Sweet Swine County, hosted by three sassy ladies, that tells small town stories with big town attitude. Now, on this station and the web. Another one. You're really good at that idea thing, cousin. Yeah, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming from the county of Plymouth in the town of Lamar's, welcome Albert Schultz from the Lamar's Toy Store. Oh, yeah, that's great here. Albert, welcome, welcome. Thank you. So, you know, tell us a little bit about uh, how did Lamar's Toy Store get started? Well, about 17 years ago, I owned a large business of an ag accounting business, and we bought a new building in town, or a department store. And in the windows, we put some of our toys in the windows, my own personal collection. People started stopping by where they were for sale. One thing led to another thing, and that's how Lamar's Store actually started. I understand that, that you... Uh, like you restore some old stuff and that that you have just you know regular things up and then you also have some customized stuff that you do too um earl why don't you show us there so we can show the folks a little bit about restoration i mean i, I remember when i was a kid i had toy trucks and tractors and all that kind of stuff like a part of our business that we do guys is like a lot of people bring us a piece and that means a lot to sentimental and sure. reason so they'll say can we come in and restore a piece so here's an example of a tractor that was brought into us before, and here's what it looks like afterwards when we get done with the toy. Holy That's just cow. part of our business. Uh, we have, of course, the common toys in the store, from 164 to the bigger precision stories. But this is some more, more of our res restoration pieces. Then we're going to get into. I'll show you more of our custom pieces. So, so this, this right here, used to look like that. Yes. Or worse. Yes. We do pedal tractors as well too. Big pedal tractors. So uh, yes, yes, we do, Earl. 
Now, now you were talking about you've got you know stock stuff that comes off the shelf, and but then you also do some customization. Yes. Have you got some something there? You sure. Can show us that, some customizing there. Here's an example of a toy. There's just a plain toy, and you can see there's no levers really on or anything else. It's very very plain. Mm -hmm. And here's the toy. What we do? We get done with it. We make it very elite. We make our own wheel weights, levers, and everything else on it. So oh, we have that. a lot of people, and I also farm, cousin John. And people who come to me and say, I want something that looks more like the real tractor. So we'll sit there and we'll build stuff like this for them all the time. Oh, that's got suspension on it. It's got lights on it. It's got the three-point hitch and everything. Holy cow, look yeah, at that. The little clutch pedal works and everything, Cousin John. Oh, it does? Yeah. Wow, that's really something. I guess, you know, there's, there's uh, all kinds of toys that they have that are just, you know, regular off-the-shelf type stuff. If you got... Uh, some examples of that? Yeah, we got just regular common stuff that you can buy from the past, maybe 40 years back, mm -hmm. to the current and stuff like that. Like I said, we do the 164 to the 116th, also the 18th, and pedal tractors too. Okay. So we do it so, and then we also have a salvage yard, which is something a lot of people don't think of. A salvage it's yard? It's a for regular toys. salvage toy yard like a big tractor yard is. Uh huh. I want to show you a couple more customs. Can I do that quick? Sure, absolutely. Well, like I said, a lot of people want to see some more details so you can see all the levers, mm -hmm. lights, the hoses, and the loader, the, the three points, and everything else, and all the wheel weights and stuff with that, too. Yeah. Who are your customers? Who, who collects farm toys? And that well, of it's a variety of all ages and all walks of life. Yes, we have younger children that might mm -hmm. be just want to come to play with, the 64th or the 16th. Mm -hmm. We've got people who have something we remember their, their father by if they were on the farm. Or a lot of people will maybe go, Cousin John, let's see if you said you had a 1066 at one time. You want something very, very elite. This is an example yeah. of something like this. They come from all over the world, and it's very unique for, to see people come in the store all the time. This last spring, we just did a combine, and about $2,500 combine that's very, very elite, too. Oh, wow. So we've gotten into some very elite stuff. Where, where are you located in, in town there? Well, we're located on four blocks straight east of the junction corner of Highway 3 and 75, okay. right up town Lamar's. Okay. And, and what hours are you open? We're open generally from 9 in the morning to about 4 in the afternoon, and Saturdays from 10 to 3. Okay. The best thing, people come in the distance, just give us a call ahead of time. Now, if, if somebody happened to have, say, a collection of toys or whatever, and they just decided, you know, I don't need these anymore or whatever, do, do you buy toy collections? Yes, we buy toy collections all the time. So many people, just like today, for example, have somebody come to the store and said, how do I sell my toy collection or something like that in the estate or whatever? The very first important thing I always tell people, don't worry about the value of the toy, high price or not. Make sure if it's sentimental, if his granddad died, make sure that the children or grandchildren get a piece to remember the grandfather out of. Sure. That's the very first important thing to do. Then you sell the collection, you sell it all, it's a piece it off. We buy collections all the time. You get uh, customers from all over the place? Oh, yes. Uh, example, last week one day, we had people from Canada, New Mexico, Georgia, the country of France, besides Nebraska and South Dakota, Minnesota, all one day. Well, folks, if you need a basic tractor or a customized tractor, now we know who to go see. Earl, what is that? I think this looks like probably the the neatest custom tractor I I've ever seen. Cousin John Earl was telling me he was still had to go cultivate corn yet. Yeah, that's a cultivator tractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen them uh, before too. Albert, you know I I know we were talking while we were on, on break there. Uh, you have a annual customer appreciation day. Tell yes. us a little bit about that. Yes, we do. We have it every spring in March. Uh, this last year we had over a thousand people attend. Wow. And I'm not talking to local people. And of course, you know, we welcome people to the store, so that means hot ham steamed sandwiches, homemade chocolate chip cookies, Whoa. grandma's famous cookies. In fact, she's right over there in the audience right now. You know, John made over 84 dozen last year. 84 and, and dozen. And they disappeared cookies. just as fast as she could make them. Holy crap, wow. that's a lot of cookies. And pop Ooh. and everything else. They come from all over. Normally, Average distance about 90 miles. Someone will drive four or 500 miles just to come to appreciation day. I want to thank Albert for stopping by, telling all us folks about L Lamar's Toy Store. Um, I'm just blown away. There's really some neat stuff. So, folks, 
you need anything done, we got his information down here below. Make sure you talk to him. I think that about does it for tonight. Stop back and see us again next time, folks. Good night, everybody. <laughs>
she might have a little flair with the little country stuff that she does, but fashion world, really. Sally. Get serious. Sally, yeah. Sally, Sally, no. Sally. She's in the green room. Oh. She can hear us right now. Just so I, okay. did, I didn't know. Okay. okay. And besides, I want to share with you with what I did over the weekend. No. But yep. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from the world of fashion, I will bring to you Sweet Swine's own Prairie Ann. Welcome, Prairie Ann. Welcome to the Cockleburn Morning Show. Welcome. Oh, I am so excited oh, to be here. We are. I am one of your biggest fans. Oh, so and you know sweet. what, Sally Sue? I went out and got a pair of glasses so I could look professional just like you. You know, Sal or Sally Sue, Prairie Ann is well known with our viewers throughout the county. But here's something I don't think our viewers know. She is a fashion icon. She's getting ready to open up a new store called the Giddy Up Store and introduce a whole new line of clothing. Oh. I bought oh. Prairie Ann's Giddy Up Boutique in November wow. and I have just <laughs> designed a new line of t-shirts for Prairie Ann's Giddy Up Boutique. Wow. Really? Yes. Wow. I'm very excited. That's pretty cool. Oh, That's excited. great. Oh, That's super. And, you know, and what I'm wondering is you must have to travel a lot to get the mm -hmm. latest trends and styles and fashion. Well, actually, I've never been outside of Sweet Swine County, but I do read Cousin John's Daily Boar, and they get the inserts from Mankato's fashion world, and I read all wow. kinds of fashion magazines. All the way from Mankato? All the way from Mankato. Oh, my. What a metropolis. All the latest. Oh. Mm. You can't beat it. Yeah, that. Where our cockleburs came from, too. I know. Well, yep. they have everything in Mankato. I'm telling you. Yep. It, it's amazing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, Prairie Ann, we know you are here to introduce a new line that you've been working on and we're excited to hear more and see more about that. Yes, I'm working on a new line of clothing and I've brought it here to show you oh. today. And I've also brought two of Sweet Swine's most famous models with me. Really? Paris Ritchie and Nicole Hilton. Can you believe it? Paris Ritchie and Nicole Hilton. Mm -hmm. I've heard of them. Haven't you heard of them? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. They're, they're, very oh, yeah. They very they're very famous. Are they very famous? Very famous. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Great. So, does this mean that we're going to have our first fashion show? Yes. <laughs> we're going to so have exciting. a fashion show. Oh, thank you. Wow, Shall we get started? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I'm mm -hmm. so Yay. excited. Aren't you excited? Oh, I'm, I'm done. Out of my skin. Oh, yes. I'm sure. Okay. First, we have Paris Ritchie wearing a smart t-shirt for the professional woman. Very nice. I'm your partner. I am not. You are not. You rock. Yes, my partner is wearing a stunning white t-shirt that bears the logo of Sweet Swine's own Institute of Higher Learning. Purdue University. So why? <laughs> now note how Absolutely. wonderfully this t-shirt can transition from the office to a night out with your friends. Very nice. Yes, Very nice. note how we have accessorized this exquisite garment with a shawl. Oh, oh stunning. Wow. Next, we have Nicole Hilton. This outstanding model is modeling another t-shirt from our new line. Excuse me, I'm your partner. Yes, partner. Partner is wearing another stunning white t-shirt okay. that bears the logo as the corn grows which, as you know, is Sweet Swine County's reality show. Uh, Prairie Ann, I thought As the Corn Grows was a soap opera. Well, yes, it's a soap, but of course it's the real story about the people from right here in really? Sweet Swine. Oh. This t-shirt represents the feeling of Sweet Swine citizens. Note, it says, As the Corn Grows, living and loving in Sweet Swine. Oh, it's, it's My model, I mean partner, mm -hmm has put this t-shirt with a dressy skirt and accessories mm -hmm. to make this t-shirt perfect mm -hmm. for any wedding held in Sweet Swain mm -hmm. County. Mm -hmm. Just remove the shrug and you're ready for a croaky night. Priyan, we know that customers can go to your store and buy, but what if they Oh, wait, Bobby oh, Ray and Sally okay, Sue, what? I have a surprise for you. Oh, what's that? Really? I yes. am wearing the prototype of the Cockaber Morning t-shirt. Well, bless your no, soul. No, I have <clears> added a crocheted shrug, oh, and an yes. animal print oh. skirt, yes. making this outfit oh. perfect for any morning show guest 
Or yeah. I'll be ready to run off to the disco tonight. I love yes, this. you this will. Yeah, that's Look just it's great. It? It's great. Thank it's wonderful. You, thank you. I love fashion. Yep. Priyan, we know that people can go to your store and buy these uh, beautiful, beautiful fashions, but can they order them some other way? Why, yes. If any of our viewers cannot make it down to the Giddy Up Boutique, they can order online by going to Google. Mm. Then enter Sweet Swine Scoop, which is Cousin John's online magazine. Oh. And you'll see how to order. They'll nice. help you right through it. Wow. Well, Prairie Ann, this has been an incredible fashion mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we really want to I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Welcome. But wait, wait, I'm wait. Now wait, into fashion. Sa wait, <laughs> Sally Sue and Bobby Ray, what? I have an announcement oh, to make. okay. What? I mean, I have been in negotiations with John Robert Olson, the producer of the show, and okay. we are forming a new show for Cluck TV called The Women of Sweet Swine County, covering everything from fashion to business for the thinking woman of Sweet Swine. Oh. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Korean, you're you're going to have a show that competes with mm -hmm. ours. Oh no no no! Oh, okay. We're not going to compete. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to okay. be better. Oh, mm. Well, honey. yeah. Thank you for being here. Yeah Korean. yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, that's our show. Oh. We'd like to thank the citizens of Sweet Swine. Yes. We'd like to thank the uh, people that have helped us discover communities outside of yes. Sweet Swine County. Yes. And we'd also like to thank our very special guest, Prairie Ann, and her wonderful models. <laughs> you like the models. Oh, the fashion show oh, was great. I, yeah. I can't believe oh, I, I was that was disappointed when you first said that's what we were going to do. Uh -huh. So, But anyway, sweet. you know what? Until next time, bye-bye for now. The lifestyles led in the small towns and counties of the Midwest are like no other. But we seldom hear about the points of interest and businesses located in these towns. While there's one TV station that's made it their mission to make sure the stories of the small towns of the Midwest are told, Cluck TV. That's right, Cluck TV, located in the neighboring county of Sweet Swine. See all the towns that are covered on KLUKTV.com. This program is made possible in part by Swine Tales Publication the proud publisher of Sweet Swine County Maps and Plat Books, now publishing authors from throughout Sweet Swine County. Swine Tail Publications is now making plans for their next book tour, and they may be held in these small towns with the release of I Married a Swine by Destiny Disaster. Born in the Bronx, the youngest of 13 children, she learned how to fight for what she wanted at a very tender age. With stars in her eyes and a dream in her heart, she left home at 16 and set out to make it on the big white way. Undeterred by the competition, she found herself waiting tables at the Footlight Cafe in order to keep a roof over her head when a chance meeting led to what she believed to be the love of her life. Boy, was she wrong. You can't judge a book by its cover, girls, and this guy's cover was every girl's fantasy. Rich, handsome, funny. That is, until she married the guy. What happened next? Well, you'll just have to buy the book. It's worth every penny in life lessons learned. She got out with her life, and next time, she'll have her eyes wide open to what lies beneath. Each of these towns are being considered for a book signing because of the information found on the best source about small towns of the Midwest. To learn about these towns, visit DestinationSmallTown.com. This program has been made possible by Purdue University, Sweet Swine County's Institute of Higher Learning, with three classroom trailers that can accommodate up to nine students each. To learn more, visit SweetSwineScoop.com. Oh, Abby Appetite here, head reporter for the What's Cooking team, making a list for my reporters to do stories on about the restaurants, cafes, diners, supper clubs, and bakeries in the small towns of the Midwest. You can see them all on clucktv.com. Hey, let's pick one out and go there together. Remember, you'll be traveling with an appetite. Abby Appetite. <laughs>